another kind of curry. It's a basic balti sauce. Onions, chilies, herbs, spices, haldi curry paste. Now, Balti cuisine comes from Kashmir, but it's caught off of all the unlikely places in Birmingham in a big way. We've asked a British chef to investigate it for us. He's John Burton Race, whom you may remember. We followed to Madrid before Christmas to witness winning a top European prize in a chef's competition. John insisted he needed a guide through the Balti houses of Birmingham, not a bad judge. And who better than comedian Lenny Henry, a Midlander, a Balti eater, and currently to be seen playing the part of a chef on BBC One. All I know about Balti is it's a type of curry that originated from northern Pakistan. As a curry fan, I mean, I was brought up on curries um, in the Far East. I'm very, very interested to find out more about it. When I first had one, I had nine in two weeks. I think there's something addictive in them, actually. I think Balti's have been around for about 20 years in this area, but over the last five, six, eight years, they've really taken off. The Balti thing is all, is all over Birmingham, but the main area is Spark Hill. Most Spark of the Hill. Tiny way. I mean, Lady Pitt Road is renowned. In Balti houses, as they are fondly called, and I've got a long-time fan to give me my... It's me, Lady Henry! Yes, so I had to come and ask the Dudley Posse what was going on. <laughs> because we're here in the Midlands, aren't we? Yeah. And, right. Um, home of the Balti. So what's the secret? The secret is you've got to have this. This is the crucial ingredient. This is the Balti business, sauce, stock, basic thing. And the first thing you do is you, you bung the sauce into this like this. It's quite a high flame, like right. that. Are you following this? Yeah, I'm following this. I know you haven't done this before. Yeah, now what's next? All right, now what you do is you put in the metti leaf. The metti leaf. Okay. Then you put in the, um, the garlic and flour. Yeah, what's that for? It's to kind of fragrance it and to season it up a little bit. So yeah. all that goes in there like that. All right. Mix all that in. Okay. Then what's next? What's next is the uh, fresh tomatoes. Right. There they are. Like fresh that. Fresh tomatoes. Uh, this is cumin. Right. That goes in as well. Like that. And uh, the penultimate thing that you pop in is the coriander. Yeah. Which is the fresh coriander leaf like this. That goes in there like that. Right. And you give that a good old stir. Yeah. What we're going to have with this is king prawns. And you just bung them in like that. Yep. That's good. That's going to be good, right? You know that's going to be good. good. You I can tell. You. I trust you. I trust you. Right. <laughs> this is a nan. Yeah. Right? Now, it's really, really important to Balti because they don't really have rice. I mean, you can get rice with them, but yeah. what you do is this container will come to the table and it'll be hot, boiling food and okay. it'll be wonderful. And then you'll get a nan. You'll get like a pile of nans plus your lager or whatever it is you choose to drink with it. Right. And you just tear it off. Yeah. And as they say in the West Indies, this ready now, you know. Okay, right. So, well, uh, taste it. yeah, of course. Just put the little spoon there. What's the matter with you, man? That's all to lamb business. You don't eat uh, it with a spoon. You don't eat it with a spoon. You eat it with a nan. Okay. Like I told you, nan is really important. You okay. dip the nan in. You grab a piece of king okay. prawn, or the sauce. I'll get the sauce. Yeah, I'll go get on. The sauce. How is it? Mm. Beautiful. You're quite clever. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> talking about Balti, y'all. <laughs> All right, now the reason we're coming in here uh, is because this is a very well stocked off license. Uh, if you're from the Midlands, you say, the off -y. Yeah. So uh, you come down the off yeah. because if you're going to have a Balti, what happens is, hi, how you doing? Hello there. Nice hey, to see you. you. Okay. If you're going to have a Balti, uh, a lot of Balti places, in fact, most Balti places don't serve alcohol yeah. because the people who run them are Muslim and okay. it's against the Muslim religion. <laughs> Off licenses around here pride themselves in stocking a wide variety of wines and beers to go with the Balti. Every Balti house in the area claims to be the first in Birmingham, but popular belief has it that Salim's was the first. The cook here is keen to show us how to make a typical Balti uh, starter, samosas. Oh, now that's very slick indeed, Salim. Okay. Is this a vegetable samosa? This is a vegetable samosa. This is potatoes, uh, churning seeds, peas, onions, and salt and chilli mm -hmm. powder. Do that. That goes around there to seal it. That's it. That's all it is. And then deep fried. Just, just fry it. That's it. will fry well. That's brilliant. How long do they have to fry for? About three minutes until they're gone brown, slightly brown. Uh -huh. The smells are ready now. Would you like to taste them? Oh, yes, oh, please. Yes, please. Yeah, that one. Thanks. It's delicious. It's very hot. It's very warm. In the belly. It's very, very, very good. Mm. All right, John, look, I've taken you around a working Balti kitchen. We've eaten Balti food. We've kind of done it. I've cooked something for you. But now I think you need some serious tuition, especially if you're going to go off and do this on your own. Where, where do you think I should go? Well, I don't know, mate. You're on your own. Well, thanks a lot. Ask anybody around here. They'll no, tell well, you. I think I can manage, don't we? All right. Thanks for your help, mate. Be lucky. Yeah. Ta-da. Take it easy. He hasn't got a hope in hell. <laughs> 
Before I'm put to the final test, I need to find out how to make naans, and who better than the known naan king, Mohammed Sharif. Yeah, it is lovely. Yeah. Yes, can I have a taste? Yes, why not? Break, you break can have a taste. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It what? is very hot. Mm, it's so light. It's not. It's Usually beautiful. these things are quite hard. Up the ones I've had before. It's, no, this is the beautiful. And this is your secret. That's my secret. Yes. Mm. It's a night. I'm told that the Balti addicts come out of the woodwork. All I need now is to find some who will allow me. To cook them. How about if tonight, after spending a whole day up here with hundreds and hundreds of Pakistani guys showing me what to do, I cook you a meal? Could you handle it? I'm going for a laugh. <laughs> You're going for a laugh. Give me five minutes and I'll blow your mind. This is nothing like I'm used to, and to be honest, I feel a bit out of my depth. But this is great food, which I highly recommend. I just hope I can please my customers who have placed themselves in my hands. There's something in them that just put you into bolted brains. Uh, brains in Australia. And, and the first thing they want to do when they come to the UK is come to Bra and just have a bolt. Today I met someone, I said, tonight I'm going for bolted brains. Oh, I could just have one myself. And then I knew I liked it. Puma, who's having the chicken puma? What do you think of it? No, I like it. I do like it. You've got it just, a, just about you perfect now. You have got plenty of coriander, which is a good thing. Yeah. If you've achieved all this in one day, then I'm really impressed. Yes, come again. I've been in Birmingham for 24 hours now, and I've spoken to everybody that knows anything about Bolti. I've cooked with some of the best Bolti chefs. Uh, it's been great fun. It's, I'm dog tired, but, you know, it's a good experience. At the end of the day, it depends what the people say. Stand